Hello, and welcome to Velo Labs Partner Spotlight, where we'll take a look at some of Velo's amazing partners. In today's spotlight, we're focusing on LightNet, a licensed money transmitter in Southeast Asia. We're going to learn more about how LightNet works and how by partnering with Velo Labs, they'll offer an unparalleled advantage over their competition. Before we begin, let me introduce the panel. First, we have the CEO of LightNet, Beam, who is here to give you a brief history of LightNet, as well as some of the things that they're focused on. Hi everyone, nice to meet you all. Next, we'll be joined by the CTO of LightNet, Victor, who will dive a little deeper into LightNet's technology and how that'll integrate with Velo. Hi everyone. Finally, on the Velo side, we're also joined by Armin, our Chief Product Officer, who's going to walk us through a number of the Velo products and services that'll be used by LightNet and Velo in this partnership. Thanks, Mike, and hi everyone. So it's great to have all of you here. Thanks for joining and let's jump into it. Okay, to set the stage before we turn it over to the LightNet team, I wanna start with a brief recap of our mission here at Velo. Overall, we wanna revolutionize financial services. We believe that financial services are very inefficient today. Um, they're slow, they're expensive, not everyone has access to them. And we believe that we can drive tangible change by improving on legacy systems and existing infrastructure. There's a wide range of financial services that we're focused on here at Velo. They could range from tokenization of real estate to creating a highly accessible and efficient cryptocurrency exchange to international payments. And it is that last one that we're gonna focus on today. International payments is a huge market, tremendous opportunity. Uh, millions of people worldwide use international payments daily. Um, unfortunately, it's using a legacy infrastructure, SWIFT, correspondent banking, it's slow, it's expensive, it takes a long time to get there. We feel that by using the power of the blockchain and utilizing Velo technologies and solutions built on that, we can significantly lower the cost, increase the speed, and increase the security of these international payments. But we're not doing this alone. We're partnering with various endpoints, people that are gonna be able to do the pay in to this network and the pay out from the network. We are really that infrastructure or that network that sits in the middle by making get from point A to point B faster and cheaper and more secure. So we'll find a lot of partners and one of our great partners is LightNet. LightNet has actually been building already a pay in pay out international payments network where they have, I think up to 50 partners already signed up that are either gonna be paying, taking money from people that are trying to send it overseas and then sending that to a different partner who will then pay it out to the recipients or signing up again, those recipients, that'll be the payout partners. Today, they're able to do that with their licenses through fiat or normal dollars and cents utilizing some of the uh, existing infrastructure. But through this partnership with Velo, they'll be able to use this next generation technology, what we're building with Velo Technologies and the blockchain to really streamline that, improve it for all of their 50 plus partners, which will also be interoperable with all the other endpoints or anchors that we have on the network. So we're very excited about this. It's gonna significantly increase the size of the network and together we're gonna to deliver great things to people around the world. So with that, let me turn it over to Beam to talk to you a little bit more about LightNet. Hey, hello everyone. And thanks Mike, it's great to be here. Um, so um, I'm Beam, I'm the co-founder and the group CEO of LightNet. I uh, want to give you a little bit of background about LightNet. Um, LightNet is the corresponding network. We are the um, network that network we intend to build the um, next generation of uh, Swift, where our vision is to create a network that is um, formless and borderless, that can connect um, all kinds of um, financial party, such as bank, cash and cash out network, e-wallet, um, credit card network, including the crypto player together, and able to provide kind of like a universal settlement and able to aggregate liquidity from fiat and non-fiat to provide kind of like a best, you know, like financial uh, network that could uh, bridge between the old generation and the new generation. Um, one of our biggest value added is like interoperability, as well as be able to offer our partner with the most cost efficient, the most capital efficient payment solution today, um, bridging between fiat and non-fiat settlement. Um, we are a global company with offices across seven countries in Asia, Europe, and North America. We have more than 100 staff, which represent more than 14 nationalities uh, through a nice subsidiary and affiliate. 
Um, we also hold a number of licensing in both uh, payment, um, digital asset, and money transfer. Um, I think um, what we have created today is an interesting um, interoperable cross-bonding network. We have uh, both more than 100 uh, pay and payout partner as well as other strategic partner. Um, some of our um, key partner include um, people like CP Group, which operate one of the largest cash and cash out in South Asia, Seven Bank, which is um, the owner of 7-Eleven uh, in Japan. We also have Yobi Bank. We have a Visa Network. We have MoneyGram as our key partner who are pledged to use our corresponding um, network. Uh, one thing that I want to highlight is that um, because we're a universal hub, any partner can just do one API with us and able to connect to all our partners with our pay and payout, which represent now 80% of the world coverage by country. Um, with regard to like this licensing, um, we are have total like about seven licensing acquired in Singapore, Thailand, Indonesia, and Lithuania, and four upcoming license in Thailand, Philippines, and five license which is currently in the application process um, that will come in hopefully this year that allow us to do even greater uh, scope in the area of digital asset and digital banking. Um, yeah, and to date, um, Ryanet have processed a billion transaction with um, expected three to four um, X of like future growth through its affiliate. So we are very looking forward um, at one point um, to utilize that technology to be really highly complemented with um, our global network that we currently built. We're hoping that Willow will be part of the solution to even allow LightNet to provide our partner with greater um, cost efficient um, real-time settlement and a better, I would say, digital liquidity solution. So um, turn over to you, Mike. Thank you. Great, thank you, Beam. Uh, I'm sure our viewers can now see exactly why Velo is so excited to partner with LightNet. Next up, we're gonna have Victor, the CTO of LightNet and former CTO of KuCoin, talk about some of the technology behind LightNet and how they're gonna utilize Velo. Thanks, Mike. It is very exciting to be here to talk about our partnership and technologies. So initially, the basic LightNet money transfer flow and the settlement before integrate with Velo, it can only support the facilitate cross-board remittance for fiat to fiat. But after we integrate with Velo, you can see the purple box in the diagram. LightNet is able to provide all the benefit of the blockchain technology from Velo to our partners. So it's able to allow LightNet to build up the fiat to non-fiat cross-board network and also is able to build up the non-fiat to fiat corresponding network. In this case, that comprehensive version of LightNet will offer cross-board remittance for non-fiat to fiat and also non-fiat to non-fiat on top of the basic versions. So it is very critical to have Velo be part of our technology infrastructures. Thanks, Victor. So now we have a better understanding of how Lightning and Velo will function. I want to now introduce our Chief Product Officer, Armin Ajami, who will discuss the critical role that Velo Labs and our technologies will play in the Lightning network. Armin, over to you. If you've been following Velo closely, you would have seen that we announced multiple new partnerships throughout the last year. And we have the building blocks in place that will make end-to-end -end remittance on the blockchain a reality. By partnering with Velo, Lightnet will be able to offer a unique advantage over its competition by efficiently handling not only fiat-based cross-border remittances, but thanks to Velo, also digital asset volumes. The Lightnet network of trusted partners will act as a pay-in, pay-out anchor on the Velo network and would automatically gain access to Velo's core functionality. This functionality includes a couple of things. First of all, there's a digital asset issuance product that leverages our Velo protocol. This Velo protocol is what we use to create Velo digital credits. These credits are minted on demand and act as a price stable asset pegged one-to-one -to, -one to the original fiat deposit. They enable the seamless transfer of value across the blockchain without the high volatility often associated with digital assets. A second component is a digital treasury management capability 
which uses our Velo Digital Reserve System. This is a system that algorithmically rebalances all issued digital credits on the network, ensuring a one-to-one -one value link between the digital credit and the original fiat deposit is maintained. Lightnet's trusted partners will also gain access to Velo's digital FX trading platform, or FCX, which connects seamlessly with, that, with our digital credit issuance and treasury management platforms, and is also available for institutional investors and FX crypto traders. We are launching this in the coming months, so keep an eye out for that product launch announcement. So, to sum it up, the powerful combination of all these components will level up Lightnet's network and really showcase the formidable speed and cost-saving elements of a blockchain-enabled international remittance experience powered by Velo. We're excited to see the impact this will make. Thank you, Armin. This brings us to the end of today's Partner Spotlight. We hope that we've been able to shed some light on Lightnet, one of our core partners, as well as how Lightnet and Velo will work together to bring improved global remittance to millions worldwide. If you have any questions on our partnerships or on our technology front, please feel free to jump over to the Global Telegram group where we'll be able to answer your questions. We look forward to updating you with future developments and partnerships in the near future. Thanks and have a great day.